in many advanced economies, such as the United States or Germany, we see wage inequality today is much higher than it was in the 1980s. Thanks to increasingly detailed data, we now also understand that this rise in overall inequality is primarily a between-firm phenomenon. For the majority of the overall rise occurred due to increased differences in average pay between different employers, as opposed to greater dispersion within any given company. I suggest that it has become increasingly advantageous for highly productive workers to collaborate among themselves. I call this co-work complementarity. Co-work complementarity means that the benefit from having another high productivity co-worker is greater for those who are themselves highly productive. To test this hypothesis, I proceed in three steps. In the first step, I develop a theoretical model that describes the firm as a team assembly technology. That model reveals two key relationships. The first is that worker task specialization means that team production is very valuable, but also that co-worker complementarities are strong. The second relationship is that complementarity fosters between as opposed to within firm inequality in workforce composition and wages. In the second step, I use German data ranging from 1985 to 2017 to empirically measure complementarities and the rise in between firm inequality. And what I find using those data is that the strength of co-worker complementarity has indeed roughly doubled. And in line with theory, that mirrors a shift in the nature of work towards greater worker task specialization. Finally, in step three, I quantify the model and evaluate the role of complementarities in shaping the distribution of wages between and within firms. A key finding here is that the rise in complementarity explains around 40% of the overall observed increase in the share of wage inequality between as opposed to within firms that we see in Germany over the sample period. A key takeaway is that increased worker task specialization has led to a strengthening of co-worker complementarities over the last three decades. So the majority of the overall rise occurred due to increased differences in average pay between different employers as opposed to greater dispersion in pay within any given company. This research helps us understand what actually drives the overall rise in wage inequality that we observe across so many advanced economies. And that's a precondition for developing or deciding what and how policymakers could intervene to foster a more inclusive economy.